Hello everyone, and welcome to The Walking Dead, again. We're continuing off where our episode ended, and we're going to head over to episode 2, Starved for Help. Uh, we got Lily here, looks like that's Lee, arguing with Kenny. Oh no, he's my boy. Hope Kenny's alright. Kenny will be fine. See what this is. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. <gasps> she oh, I got wrote. another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. Doug's dead. I don't dead. give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I'm sorry, man. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. This is nice. Oh, right in the game. Killed one. Damn. What'd they get this time? Looks like rabbit. a rabbit. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Who are you? Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark. But Mark? We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not in, we'll manage. We'll manage. Gotta be hopeful. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Hmm, Kenny talks about that a lot. He's got family to look out for. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just looking out for his daughter. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Mm. Knock me flat. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Can we get the crow?
Can't make that shot. That's a long shot. I hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Crap. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Was it? Come on. Kenny's my boy. Gotta protect him. Jeez, bear Jesus cap. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? You. It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you've got to shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just yeah, see you if don't. you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We'll try. we got to get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Walkers. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Please! You can't just leave him like this. Do something! Please! Get me out of this! Is he... Is he gonna make it? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop! Uh, fuck! Why is this happening to us? Think I can cut the chain? Let's go! Oh, let's somebody go. do this! Hurry! Uh, this can't be happening. I don't think this is gonna break. Lee, it has to be now! Come on! Please uh, hurry! Try something! Forget it! We use chain like you that to get him out! Space you to have to! to. You're not cutting through that! Okay, um... There's gotta be another way! There's gotta be something we oh, can I'm do! Oh, I'm sorry, man. We're gonna have to cut off your leg. Damn it, Lee, just cut oh. off his fucking leg! We don't have time for no, that! No, no, no! I'm sorry! Okay, Try the trap again! Go. Now! Anything, please! Now we gotta go. Ooh. <laughs> Lee, I can't keep him back forever! <laughs> I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. <laughs> oh. He passed out. Oh god. Shit. Is he? He passed out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. <laughs> Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. <laughs> oh, he tripped. <laughs> oh no. Travis is dead. Who liked him anyway, right? Episode 2. Starved for help. Group is trying to survive.
just us. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? What oh, what what's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Would have died. No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, no. you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? Yeah, no, you should probably I... leave. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group? But we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running doesn't out, matter. suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Oof. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. Oh no. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <coughs> oh no. Four food items for ten people. Oh, that that's not good. Don't look at me, Mark. It's okay, Kenny. Clementine is guaranteed. I mean, what happened to all the energy bars I had? Talk to Katja. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right I thing. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. Should I give her food? Well, let's just see who I can give food to first. Uh, the wall's that way. Okay, so I'm going to avoid Mark and Larry and them. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? Yeah. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank we'll you. We'll find your hat. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I'm going to be talking to you real soon. Like right now. I'm giving you some food. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. 
The apple will be more healthy. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Let's, uh... Let's talk to Duck. How are you How doing? How are you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Cool. Guess what it is. I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> no. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. Have some hey, food. Doc, how about a little food? Some meat? Here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Duck and his family appreciated that. Let's talk to Ben. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director. Man at with school. two first names. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How are you holding up? How are you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. You did all you could. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. I'm not giving you food yet. We'll, get your friend back to we'll see who else needs food. I sure hope so. How is Carly doing? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. I'm giving out food. What should I do? Here's me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. No, that guy can be a real dick sometimes. <laughs> On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Okay, so I think Larry would be a good idea. Just so I don't, like, you know, look bad. Look at this face. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm just going to give him food. I'm not even going to talk to him. Some crackers and cheese just for you. Lily well, would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. We don't have any more Need food. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, I'm going to give it to Mark. <laughs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Yep. No. I just need some food. I just gave you food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Right? There's one piece of food left. For yourself? Nah. Let's see. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay, I could give one to Car Katja. Carly. Yeah, no. Sorry, I don't like Lily. Let's talk to Kenny. Let's see how he's doing. 
Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Get a boat, head to an island. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. <laughs> 